Hey guys, happy Thursday. How are you? Happy Friday Eve. Yay! It's Friday almost. I hope everybody's had a great week so far. Um, we leave our vacation for our vacation in, oh my god, two days. Not even two days. Not even two days. We're leaving like butt crack of dawn. Um, Saturday morning. And um, yeah, so... Um, Sorry, sorry. Okay, hi. So, um, yeah, tonight we're gonna do some road trip prep. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get the shares um, going real quick, and I'm gonna see if I can see your comments, hopefully. Hi, Steven, hi, Michelle, hey, Melissa. Hi, Emily, how are you? Let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and get these going. Sorry, I'm a little flustered tonight. Anyway, um, sorry we're running a little bit late. There's a bit of a scheduling mishap. No big deal. We're gonna, um, we're gonna deal with it and move on. It's not a big deal. Hi, Heather. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Miss Becky. Two Heathers in a row. Hi, Christine. Hi, Rosalind. Jennifer's driving to North Carolina next Thursday. 13-hour road trip. Woohoo! Hi, Diane. Hi, Christina. All right, let's pull this up. Um, Okay, where are we? Here we are. We are not there. That is not us. Hold on. Unpin that. Pin this. Nope, nope, nope. Page. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Sorry, guys. Give me just a second. It's loading. There she goes. There she goes. Pin that. How are we? Hi, Diane from Pennsylvania. Hi, Betty. Hi, Steven. Hi, Brenda. Valencia. Hashtag Team Heather. What's going on with Heather? Oh, because there's two Heathers in a row. Hi, Laura. Hi, Valencia. How is everybody? Okay. My computer is running hella slow right now. I apologize. There we go. There's the video. Copy. Um... Uh, uh, where's that group? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. There we go. And there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yo, we are going to miss you. Thank you. We're going to try and get subs so there will still be somebody cooking, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, for a little bit. Watching a movie with hubby, rare treat, I'll be on and off. Caitlin, enjoy the movie with your husband. We are here uh, recorded when you're ready to watch it. No big deal. Heather just got back from a 14-hour road trip. Yay! All right. Let's see. Share. Share to a page. Here we go. to a page. Hi Camille, hi Marie, hi Jennifer. Now I'm gonna stay in bed, right? It's my it's my lounging shirt. Although I didn't lounge today, actually it was very um, productive. So that's good. <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. Where are our adventures taking us? Thank you, Kelly. Um, we are going, so we live in Central Florida. So we are going um, Central Florida, Chattanooga, Kansas City, Sioux Falls, Rapid City, Steamboat, Denver, Kansas City, Nashville, home gonna be a long one. I have not sent a text yet, Jessica. Don't worry, we're running a little bit late today. Um, so, give me one second. I'm almost done. Um, 
<laughs> what are we trying to do? Mama, there we go. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, let's send the text message. So I apologize to my long-term folks. We're actually going to be doing one we've done a few times. We're going to do the crescent roll sandwiches again because we're going to do them for the road trip. So I didn't want to do anything that's going to go bad or we can't bring with us. Um, so we're going to do the crescent roll sandwiches. We're going to go through some of my personal trips, uh, trip tip, trip tips, trip tips, um, because we've done a lot of road trips, and I'm going to ask you guys for some trip tips as well. So, yay. Um, hold on. Mama Loves Food Live Show. We're on the right one. Uh, on now live at Mama Loves Food. Let's, Let's try that again. Sorry, I'm not the most adept phone typer on Facebook. Come join the fun. All right, got it. Okay, let me know when you get it. So we know it was successful. Um, all set for the big trip. We are not set. Like, I haven't even started packing. My husband's got some stuff packed. He helped me get the kids together and he helped me get... Uh, we did the food shopping for the trip and, or like snack shopping for the trip and oh. all that fun stuff. Got the text. Yay! Hey, Linda from Florida. Hey, Valencia. Fitbit Buzz for Valencia. Heather got the text. All right, guys. And if you want to sign up for the text message alert, it's really simple. You're going to text follow space live show MLF. That's one word to 40404. And Kelly will throw that in the comments for you so you can see it. So we're going to do um, Crescent Roll Sandwiches again. Tonight we're going to do which is of course our standby and then also some pepperoni pizza ones which um you know something a little different something exciting and then we were going to go through um some of my road trip tips and um pack a few snack bags also so um use speak to text i could probably try that sometime huh i feel like when i use speak to text though i always screw it up like it doesn't understand what i'm saying and anyway i'm going to wash my hands real quick and then we'll get going and yes, of course, I'm wearing leggings. I've been um, obsessively listening to the um, Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack lately. So um, it feels like, come on now, we're running low. There we go. Um, so it feels like cassette tapes are appropriate. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my son Ethan would love for you to say hi. Hi, Ellen and Ethan. How are you? Hi, Regina. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Virginia. My sound just went dark again. What? What? I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell. Is everybody's sound off? What's going on? I hope not. Oh, that would make me very sad. All right, so my, one of my first road trip 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 tip. I'm not, I just can't say that tonight. One of my first road trip tips. I don't know why the volume's been screwy, guys. I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could do about it earphones maybe I I can't like there's I have no control over the volume from my side unfortunately um, but try to maybe jack it up on your end I'm sorry I can't Facebook this is all Facebook this is not me I haven't done anything different hi miss Jennifer Fisher all right so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to play along I apologize okay so one of my things is box wine it packs easily it doesn't go bad um, because it's sealed really well, it lasts a long time, you can stick it in the back of the truck or the car or whatever, that is a big tip, okay? And then if you um, aren't going to drink, you know, 14 bottles, whatever this is, get the little ones. This is three glasses, which is perfect for like an evening wind down for you and the hubby, or maybe just you, I don't know. Um, but I love these, and they look like juice boxes, which makes me happy. Um, so that is my first, that's my first one, which is fun. Uh, Hannah says she can hear. Some people are saying it went down a little bit, so I'm just going to pour myself a little glass of wine right now because hashtag I need it. It's been a long day. Oh yeah, look at that. A little bit of sangria for us. Cheers, guys. Cheers. How are you? Oh my god, I'm about to spend three weeks in the car with my family. <sighs> Wish me luck. No text here. What do you ask? What's the matter, Sue? If you, don't, if you didn't get the text, try re-signing up for the text message alert. Sometimes that'll do it. Um, box what? Box wine. Box wine. This is a box of wine. It's got a spigot. I can tuck the spigot back in if I need to. 
It packs beautifully. It's got a handle. It's amazing. Perfect trip. I was not born in April, um, Teresa. I was born in August, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to start with the pizza roll-ups. The kids are beside themselves excited, like ridiculously, stupidly excited. All right, let's grab a cutting board. There we go. Cutting board. Yeah, you don't need it. You'll, do, you'll be fine. Uh, let's see you say trick tips after some wine, right? Oh my gosh, that's a really tough one. The Little Max wine. Well, so they have, this is, comes in many brands. This is actually BOGO at Publix right now. So for those of you who live near Publix, um, the Black Box um, Juice Box wines. <laughs> <laughs> for lack of a better term, our BOGO right now, which is amazing. Whatever happened to the egg outside? I don't know. My feed actually broke up and I wasn't able to watch. If Lynn pops on tonight, we'll have to ask her what happened to the egg. Taylor's taking her box of wine with her on the road trip. Yay! Okay. So we are going to do some pepperoni pizza crescents. So they're just little mini, mini pepperoni pizza bites. And we've got mozzarella cheese. We've got um, spaghetti sauce, and we've got our marinara, and then we've got um, pepperoni. And then, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, well, it's in the fridge. We're going to let it sit in the fridge a little bit longer. Rebecca says, I used to get get that way when we'd be leaving at 4 a.m. to drive to Florida. Three-day drive, and I'd never sleep the night before. Oh, yeah. Hi, Miss Kate. How are you? Thank you, Patricia. I accidentally X'd out, and now my chat is frozen. No, X out and come back again. X out and come back again. All right. I wish I was back in Florida so I should, could shop at Publix. We do love us some Publix. Publix is pretty fab. It's a good market. All right, let's grab a nice big knife so we can do this. Wah. Hi, Dita. Welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. Do those have to be refrigerated? So I'll put them in the cooler. Another good trip, obviously you want to pack a cooler if you're going on a long road trip and you have a lot of kids in the car and you don't want to be um, spending a fortune on um, junk food, McDonald's, all that stuff. I mean, it's okay to do it every once in a while, but it just, you know, it adds up if you do it too much. So, what do you keep in the white trash can? The white trash can is um, compost. It's my compost bucket. Uh, so we keep a cooler in the car with um, sandwiches and, and fruit and that kind of stuff. Is Publix only in the south? Yeah, it's in the southeast. So I believe um, Texas, I'm not Texas, I'm sorry, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, I think South Carolina maybe. Um, I'll be Florida on Sunday. Yay! Get yourself a Publix sub. Publix is known for their subs. They are so good. Make sure you get the white bread because the white bread is amazing. Um... Do you take your fur babies? No, my in-laws um, either watch them or we get a, a house. Well, we have a house sitter or the house sitter watches them, I should say. So it just depends on who watches the house, whether um, whether we take the dogs with us. What are we making? Hi, Diana. We are making crescent pizza rolls um, to put in the car. Oh, so what I was going to tell you, though, was here's a good tip. Uh, you know the uh, vacuum insulated coolers you know that big silver vacuum insulated cup that I have that I use sometimes um, that keeps ice for over a day like literally 24 hours you'll wake up in the morning and there'll still be a pile of ice in there um, so oh sourdough is good too Virginia so um, they make coolers out of that same system now and um, if you buy the name brand ones they're like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars they're really really expensive but uh, Walmart has their own version out right now. It, it keeps ice for four to five days. Um, it's on sale right now for $80. So we got one of those, um, which is super exciting. Jonathan says, I work for Publix. They think, they, they are, are they adding more stores Northeast? Oh, that's awesome. Yay. So yeah, um, if you're in the market for a really super duper cooler, Now's the time. Go over to Walmart and get them. They're normally, I believe, $100 at Walmart, but they're on sale right now for $80. Publix is in Alabama also. All right. So they're spreading out. I didn't realize that. That's good. I knew they were in Nashville because I remember going to one when we were um, visiting there, like last year or the year before. So Tennessee was the farthest I could confirm, but it's nice to hear that it's gone elsewhere now, too. So we won't probably use all this cheese in the crescent rolls, but I'll just pack it in a bag. And then if the kids want some cheese while we're on the trip, we'll 
pull it out of the cooler for them. Welcome to Tennessee. We just gave back my grandson to just graduation. He's going to high school so proud. Yay! Got back from your grandson's graduation. That's awesome. I love Publix, but we don't have any in Wisconsin. Maybe one day. Sounds like they're spreading like a good virus, right? <laughs> uh, what brand cooler? So it's just um oh what's the what's the what is the camping Ozark Ozark Trail, which is the Walmart um brand camping brand basically and um you'll see them they they'll say like vacuum insulated cooler on it and the ice lasts for four to five days so we got one of those i'm in cali so no Publix for me hi christine from fort worth texas how are you gorgeous i hope you're having a good day what kind of cheese are you using um i am using mozzarella kelly um somebody oh there it goes okay Never mind. Ozark Trail has the best lounge chairs. Do they? I didn't know they even had lounge chairs. That's cool. They have great insulated mugs. Really, really good insulated mugs and cheap. Like really inexpensive. So guys, I hear everyone saying no Publix in California. What what markets do you guys shop at? Tell me where you shop. I used to shop at the Piggly Wiggly in New Jersey, which I thought was the strangest um, name for a... Um, grocery store but I guess Publix isn't any less strange <laughs> the extra large lounge chair is a dream I'm gonna have to look for it now hi Kelly Kelly's at Publix every day me too girl me too um we are making pepperoni um pepperoni pizza crescent rolls so yay Kroger in Cincinnati Wedgman's for Aaron Kroger for Shannon I'm great love Ozark Trail camping yes here we go. See, Christine has two. She agrees. The, trip, the, the, the coolers are good stuff. All right, so we've got all our prep stuff. If I, well, if I can open this right now, we can do this. We can do it. Market Basket and Hannaford's and Shaw's. When we come over to the U.S., it's Wedgman's and Giant Eagle, Kroger and Meyer. Kelly says Woodman's Festival Foods. All right. Let's grab a um, <clears throat> a roll of crescent dough. Ah! I try to keep them in the fridge as long as possible just because um, I live in Florida and they get really sticky if they're warm for too long and it's harder to work with. So Virginia says Safeways, Safeway, Lucky's, Food, Mit, Food Max, Costco are the main ones. smells right. I am drinking um, sangria. Wes, will you come smell this pepperoni? I don't know if I'm... So, um, my lovely husband, who I love and adore, accidentally put a... Um, excuse me? Will you smell this and tell me if it smells like it? I don't know if my sniffer is just weird or... It smelled weird when I opened it. Does it smell okay? Okay. Anyway, so Wes accidentally put a um, laundry detergent packet uh -huh. in the um, in the dishwasher, and it's like really, really overpowering smell. So I feel like my sniffer's a little bit off. <laughs> it doesn't. It just smelled different, Valencia. But I think it's because I'm smelling it with the um, with the laundry detergent situation over here. It was really pungent. <laughs> My husband is a carnivore and always asks him to smell the meat, right? He, Wes, Wes has a better sniffer than me for those things. So, I'm always convinced everything's gone bad. Wes thinks I'm crazy. Okay. So, let's lay out some rectangles. All right. Smell that meat, right? Hashtag smell the meat. Hair of the taco. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. We've got this. What are you watching these days? You know, that's a really good question because I was prepared to ask you guys the same thing tonight. Um, I just finished... 
Well, I'm watching Handmaiden's Tale as it goes. Um, I have not watched this week's episode yet, so please don't say anything. Um, I got a spoon. I just finished. What's the one with the president? Um, oh my goodness. What's the one with the president? Anyway, I just finished that one with Claire and um, what's his name? Thank you, Melissa. I know. I feel like I should have stayed in bed today a little bit. Been a little House of Cards. Yeah, I just finished House of Cards, and then um, and right before that, I had finished. I caught up on Dean and Sam Supernatural. So I'm just putting a blob of um, spaghetti sauce on each one of these. Um, and then like the sauce, I'm not a, I'm not a big sauce person. Like I'll eat it on my pizza, but I have no interest at all in, um, like digging into the sauce. I just don't. Sorry, Valencia. I know you want me to lick the sauce. <laughs> Am I a singer too? No, I'm not a singer. No, no, no. I sing sometimes, but it's not good. Ain't gonna win me any awards. I smell everything. Two boys and a pre-teenager. <laughs> You're too funny. So... Right before that, I had fin I had just caught up on Supernatural, and so last night I turned on, what's the other president one? Scandal? I'm sorry, it's just gotten so bad, though. Like, I'm going to watch it, because I feel like at this point I'm committed, but it has gone from, like, a fun little mystery, whatever, problem-solving show, to straight-up soap opera. It's absurd. So, I mean, I'm sorry if you love the show, but it's crazy pants right now. What are you guys watching? Tell me what you guys are watching. Thank you, Virginia. You're a sweetheart. Kelly's been watching Orange is the New Black. Hi, Eli. We are making pizza roll-ups. Pizza roll-ups. What's designated survivor? I don't know what that is. All right, so I'm just going to put a piece of pepperoni. You can do more than one piece of pepperoni. I'm just going to do one. I get olfactory hallucinations and smell cigarette smoke. Oh, I smell dirty diapers. I still do. I'm constantly convinced there's like a dirty diaper in the house somewhere. It's horrible. Starting The Good Wife. The Good Wife is so good. I loved The Good Wife. I did. Really, really loved The Good Wife. Anyway, you can put one, two, three, four, however many pieces of pepperoni you want on them. I'm just going to do one for now. Handmaid's Tale is so good. It's so good. I'm I'm like, I'm nervous about where they're going to go with it, though. I feel like it could be really good or it could just end, like, horribly. And I've heard the book doesn't end great, so that makes me nervous. Wrecked on TBS. Oh, I've never even heard of that. Oh, I also caught up on Catastrophe. Do you guys watch Catastrophe? Um, so I loved the first season of Catastrophe. Like, love, love, loved. It's totally crude, totally crass. I really liked the second season. They're really, really short seasons, too. Um, I really like, I think, five or six episodes. I really liked the, um, oh, I may have put a little too much sauce on these. Oh, well. Um, I really liked the second season. I didn't love it, but I really liked it. And then the third season, hey, Ebony, I am definitely still doing Weight Watchers. Yes, absolutely. I'm down 16 pounds now, although today's lunch was legit a 30-point lunch, so let's just not talk about that. Um, SpongeBob on YouTube. What are the mad faces for? I don't know. Apparently, Facebook really doesn't like me tonight because I can't even see any of your reactions, which makes me super, super sad. So I'm just going to pretend I'm getting hearts like crazy, and, um, and we'll be just... That's good, you know? Um, anyway, Grace and Frankie. I did not love Grace and Frankie. Um, I watched a few episodes of it. I felt it was, like, painfully overacted. And I say that as a really big Lily Tomlin fan, so I was a little bit sad. Anne with an E. Oh, I like Anne with an E. I was sad that it had so few episodes. I was sad. I wanted more. Yay for 16 pounds. Thank you, guys. Woo, we're getting there. I'll get in there. I'll get into my I'll get into my less fat jeans soon. And I don't mean that as a person that needs to be skinny. I don't. I know I've said this before, but I want to say it again for those of you who are new. Um, I am not doing this because I don't feel beautiful or I don't feel sexy. That is not why I'm doing this. I'm doing um you are gorgeous at any weight. You are worthy at any weight. You are perfect at any weight. Um, but I think all of us have a point where we're most comfortable in our skin and I just passed that point by a little bit. So we're going to, we're just going to backtrack it some, no big deal. Um, but yeah, I don't ever want anybody to feel like 
I think everybody should be on a diet or a certain size or anything like that because it's not the truth. That's not the case at all. Switched at birth is amazing. That sounds so stressful. I don't think I could watch that. All right, let's grab some more present dough. Hey. It's okay, Lindy. Not every show is made for me. It's not a big deal. You know, we're all different people with different tastes. I just peeled the wrong side of that. So that's not going to do me much good. I go for strength. What does that mean? Is that a... Yeah, there you go. A train. You need train, right? I've lost seven inches total. That's awesome. Congratulations. So, yeah. I don't care what you weigh. The universe does not care what you weigh. I want you to feel beautiful no matter whether you're 10 pounds or 10,000 pounds. Pretty Little Liars for Kayla. I love you too, Miss Debbie. Here it goes. Here it goes. Are you guys scared of these things? I know a few people. Do you guys watch Rachel on Sprinkle Some Fun? She is terrified of these. It's so funny to watch her open them. All right. So this is my dinner, by the way, because I ate 30 points at lunch. I'm actually not even hungry. Have you tried the ranch? What's the ranch? Is it a show or like a recipe? Tell me about the ranch. I'm scared of those. Laura's scared of them. Yeah. Hi, Miss Jennifer. How are you? All right unrolling some more switched up birth is an amazing family story and it's very uplifting all right all right i'll have to try that out then all right i could get behind an uplifting story for sure night shift what's night shift i'm not familiar with that one facebook is being finicky i know people keep telling me that i'm sorry guys i really am all right Just went um, quiet for a second. Sorry. Okay. Oh, there we go. Kelly's got the text message alert up or alert alert up alert up. I've lost over 20 pounds. That's wonderful, Lori. That's great. Fourth season starts tonight. Very cool. So there's plenty to catch up on. I actually like it when I don't catch a show until several seasons in because um, then I've got, I love, I love binge watching. I like, I want to know the whole story. I don't want to know 10 minutes of the story. So Handmaiden's Tale is actually stressing me out quite a bit because I don't want I don't, I don't, I don't like it ending. I want to just know the whole thing. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lori. How are you? The Fosters is good. I'll have to check that one out. All right. I like the popping sound it makes. It's exciting. It is exciting. I feel the same way. Also, you know something delicious is coming, right? Walking Dead. I watched the first three seasons, and then I kind of just was over it. So, I don't know. I've heard it's gotten better again, though. You'll have to tell me. How could I, oh, Nashville's good. I like Nashville. I did. I watched, I watched several seasons. I didn't watch the, the most recent season yet. Um, it's a little soap opera but, oh, I meant to do the pepperoni, but that's all right. Walking Dead's the best. Have I been to the Disney water parks? Um, I have been to, I mean, not recently, but I've been to Blizzard Beach and I've been to Typhoon Lagoon in the past. Um, not in a long time though. And then I went to um, Volcano Bay just a couple weeks ago. That was fun. That's um, Universal's new one. And I did a, a live tour. If you look in the live videos, I did a live tour of Volcano Bay and it's immense. It's crazy. I should be watching Power and Ascension. Ooh, those sound like dramatic shows. I like a good drama. I do. Just started watching What Are We Cooking? We're doing pizza roll ups. We're going on a road trip on Saturday. So what I'll do is I'm going to cook these, then I'm going to stick them right into the freezer. And then on Saturday morning, bright and early, we'll put them in the car, we'll put them in the um, regular cooler, not the super cooler. And, um, and they'll, be night, they'll be perfectly thawed at lunchtime, ready to eat. Broad Church is so good, Amy. Broad Church is amazing. Yeah. I saw the live video we talked. Yes, yes, we did, Felicia. I remember that. I remember. 
True Detective is good. If you like drama, The Fosters is for you, but it can be a bit emotional. Yeah, I, I struggle with the emotional stuff sometimes. I do. I'm a crier. Which, um, so Stephanie and I, Stephanie from Spaceships and Laser Beams and I did a um, press tour thing a few a few weeks ago, the Volcano Bay thing, and she discovered that live music even makes me cry, and she thought that was basically the funniest thing ever. Yes. So you guys tell me, um, are you criers? Does like do things like loud music or um, like live performances do those make you tear up a little bit? Because they totally make me cry, and I'm not like a twenty. I'm not like a twenty four seven. Like if somebody gets ups if somebody makes me upset, I'm not likely to cry. I'm more likely to cry when I'm like emotionally full. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's a weird thing. Anyway, Debbie's going to Myrtle Beach for a family vacation. Have you been there? I don't think I have. If I have, it may be passing through as a kid. Um, but I haven't had like an intentional vacation there yet. You'll have to let us know how is it how it is. Uh, Cheryl says This Is Us is amazing. So I've heard the same thing about though about This Is Us that it's like a real. It's like a real cathartic good cry show. So what type of car do you all travel in? So we have a Nissan NV passenger van. It's huge. It's a 13-seater passenger van. I don't have 13 kids. Um, we take the back row out for storage, and then we've just got plenty of room for everyone. It's really nice. Diane cries at marching bands. Thank you. I do, too. I do, too. I cry at everything. Happy, sad, angry, and oh, yeah, other people crying sets me off, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, I could have a fight with my husband and I won't cry. But if I see somebody else fighting with their husband and they cry, then I'll cry. It's weird. Hi, Miss Paige. How are you? All right, so these are a little crowded, but I think they'll be okay. Some of them are a little saucier than I probably meant to be, but I think they'll be fine. So we're going to throw these in the... I used to go to Myrtle Beach every year with my family. Oh, fun. Have you ever been to Kentucky? I haven't been to Kentucky. Okay. We're going to throw these in the oven. They're in at 3.50. I'm gonna stop for 10 minutes to check on them. Boom. All right, we're gonna set that. I'm gonna grab a, the main things that make me cry is TV shows and movies and certain songs. Yep, songs make me cry too. Okay, so we just put our pizza um, sandwich rolls in the oven. Let's do some ham and cheese ones. We're going to put these aside. Let's grab a Ziploc bag. Ziploc, Ziploc. Put this cheese in here for later. Uh, songs for Terry. Yep. Mm -hmm. I feel ya. I feel ya. I wasn't until my brother passed. Oh, I'm sorry, Caitlin. That sucks. We call Myrtle Beach Dirty Myrtle Beach. It's changed from what it used to be. Oh, that's too bad. Hi, I just started watching. When are we going on vacation? Where are we going? We are going. Central Florida is where we live. So Central Florida to Chattanooga to Kansas City to Sioux Falls to Rapid City to Steamboat to Denver to Kansas City to Nashville. Oh. <laughs> or if you have too many drinks. I'm not a I'm not a drunk crier at all. I'm a happy drunk. I'm a very, very happy drunk. My sister, on the other hand, she's a crier. Okay, I'm new. I just saw this on my Facebook, so I clicked on. I was going to ask you what you're making, and you said, you are welcome. I'm glad you're here. Why Chattanooga? Um, uh, tie your hair back. No, Cindy, honey, you can tie your hair back, though, if you'd like. So Chattanooga is um, just, it's just a good stopping point on our way. We didn't, it, it wasn't like a way we have to go to Chattanooga thing. It was a, um, it was a convenient stop and it's a beautiful area. So, um, yeah, that's why you should dip down to Oklahoma and visit the pioneer woman. So, uh, the last two times we've driven out West, we did Oklahoma. We actually have family in Oklahoma. Um, so we just decided to do a Northern route this time. The hurricane is here. What hurricane? I live an hour from Chattanooga. Yay! We live there stationed actually. actually. Very cool. All right, open. Why won't you open? Open. This is for me. There it goes. Colorado is beautiful. I love Colorado. I love, love, love. So that's where we're spending the most time. We're spending a, a full day, so two nights, 
in every place except for Rapid City. We're sending spending three nights, I believe, and then Steamboat, we're spending five days. So, yeah, it'll be fun, I think, I hope. Let's see. What was the name of the show Maiden Fair? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I'm sorry. Oh, helps if we grab a, another sheet pan, right? Um, are you thinking of Handmaiden's Tale? Handmaid, Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Come to Chicago and see me. Hi, Ebony. We were actually in Chicago a couple years ago. Do you, you never think you will come all the way out to Nevada and, or California? I hope we will eventually. Yes, Kelly, I am bringing my new jacket. I don't know if I, I can't remember if I posted it on the wall, but um, does that pinned post bother anybody else besides me? There should not be a pinned post. Why is there a pinned post? If there is, that is an accident. Let's see. I don't see a pinned post. There's no pin post. I don't know. Refresh your um, refresh your browser and see what happens. Hi, Monique. How are you? Um, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to eventually get all the way out there. We're kind of creeping out. My husband, when we first got married, was staunchly anti road trip. Like, don't even ask me. I will never. A pinned post is just a post um, stuck to the top of the comments. Um, some people use it to. Um, you know, provide information in addition to the description, but we don't generally use it because we have such a talkative group. We have a nice conversation going and it blocks some of the conversation. So, um, yeah, so when Wes and I first, well, even were dating, um, he was very much like, we will never ever road trip. Road tripping is horrible. I hate being in a car. So I've had to ease him into it. <laughs> so the fact that we, um, the fact that we are doing even any road trip, forget the fact that we're going like thousands of miles, is kind of a miracle. Because um, Wes isn't, you know, that was, I feel like it might have been part of our vows that he was like, never make me go on a road trip. So, I did. I worked, you know, people are moldable, right? <laughs> Hi, Sh Shakira. How are you? Thanks for being here. Hi, Buggy Boo. Yeah, try resetting the feed. It could just be stuck there. All right, so this is, um, just crusted roll dough, and then we've got Monster Cheese, my personal favorite. My kids are good. Thank you for asking. They're in bed now, hopefully sleeping. Hopefully not torturing Wes. I know Wes is trying to get a little bit of work done before we head out of town. We do still do some work on the road, but, you know, it's hard to do a lot of work on the road. So, asking about what cheese. Um, oh, the, the pinned post. Yeah, I saw that something got pinned, like, just briefly, um, but then it got taken right back down, so... It should not still be there. And if it's there for you, then your um, browser's probably just, it's its a personal browser thing. It's not a Facebook thing. Hi, Erica. How are you? My mom calls Monster Cheese Monster Cheese. I feel like it's an appropriate name for it. Hi, Heike Kip. How are you? Hi, Eloisa. And guys, if you want links to the webpage, my webpage is mamalovesfood.com. You can always just click share on this video. It'll share to your wall and you'll be able to see the description easily with all the links to stuff we recommend, recipes, all that fun stuff. Have you, you ever used the Ibotta app? I have used the Ibotta app, it's a good one. It is, it is. So I'm just putting a piece of Munster cheese on each crescent roll. And hello, Michael from Texas, how are you? And then I just got some ham here, we're gonna use that. W as matched you. I don't know what you're saying, sweetheart, I'm sorry. It doesn't auto translate on here. What kind of cheese is Munster cheese? It's Munster cheese? I don't know how to, you mean what does it taste like? Um, it's like a really creamy rich cheese. Please open this. Will you be staying anywhere there is a kitchen for you to prepare some meals? Yes. Um, normally we stay at several Airbnbs, but, um, but, but, but this time we actually did mostly hotels. So in Colorado, we have a four bedroom condo that we'll be sharing with some of my siblings. So there will be a, um, it's a very buttery cheese. It's very, um, it's just delicious. It's super yummy. I don't know how to explain it. Um, does these, do these sandwiches get soggy after being in the freezer? No, they don't get soggy. Mm -mm. We love Munster. I will miss you next week. Tuesday night I'll be lame. It won't be lame. We're going to try and find somebody to come on on Tuesday. So cross your fingers. We'll look for it next time I get to the grocery store. Yeah, definitely try it. It's delicious. Hi, hi, Sadie. Is it Sadie or Sade? Um, we are going 
Central Florida is where we live. So Central Florida, Chattanooga, Kansas City, Sioux Falls, Rapid City, um, Steamboat, Denver, Kansas City again, uh, Nashville, and then home. So yeah. Munster is Monica's favorite. It's just really, it's a really rich and full, full flavored cheese. It's really yummy. Loves it. My, my, my son is three and absolutely obsessed. I believe it. It's delicious. It's so good. So good. And if you like um, mustard or whatever, you can totally put a line of mustard. My kids really like their sandwiches plain. So could you use Gouda? Absolutely, Michael. You could use whatever you want. And you could make them sweet or savory. Um, you could do... One of my most popular recipes on my website is these as a French dip. So I use a little bit of um, horseradish sauce, really good, um, really good high quality roast beef, and um, and then I make an au jus, which I know means with dip, but you know vernacular. Uh, is it cow cheese? Yes, Julie, it's cow's cheese. Um, we make an au jus and serve it, and it is. I like to use provolone with mine, but you could use Swiss too. I lived in Nashville, it's beautiful. Yeah, Nashville is gorgeous, it is. So, I was sick last time we were in Nashville, so I'm excited to go back and do it again without being sick. <laughs> Knock on wood, hopefully I won't be sick. Are you visiting family in all those places or just sightseeing? No, we're, the only place we're visiting family is um, Colorado. I'm just gonna grab another, our last roll of dough. So guys, what are your vacation, summer vacation plans? Tell me, are you guys going anywhere good? What's happening? Oh, that just popped. That was weird. I don't know why that happened. All right. Um, my husband, Aju, I've heard of that for the first time on an Arby's commercial. Yeah, it's just a, a it's like a dip, a gravy dip. Basically, it's a, it's a light gravy dip. It's yummy. Tennessee is gorgeous. Tennessee is gorgeous. Somebody's giving us mad faces. All right, let's um, look over here at these. Not quite ready. We're going to give them another, let's say, four minutes and then go back and check on them. You want to make sure that they're nice and brown. Going to Newfoundland. Ooh, that's north. I bet it's even still a little bit chilly there. Um, you want to make sure they look like, I think we said this last time we made them, like they've been lightly tanned, like they went on a cruise. Probably the hair police. Oh yeah, probably. Mm, just a little extra roughage, no big deal. What brand of crescent rolls? This is just um, store brand. Uh, you can use Pillsbury. I do find the Pillsbury needs to cook longer, so just FYI, if you use Pillsbury, it's delicious. But it does tend to need to cook longer than the package says. So just keep that in mind. Rosemary Beach. The bake time and the ham and cheese, 15-ish minutes. Just, just watch. It depends on how, how much stuff you put on, in them. It depends on what brand of crescent roll you use. It depends on you know how accurate your oven temperature is. My husband and I just did a month long trip cross country to the national parks. That is awesome. I love that. My vacation is where'd it go? My husband on the road, truck driver. My 15 year old son is staffing Boy Scout summer camp. Home with a 30, 32 animals. That's a whole lot of animals. There's a restaurant about an hour from Nashville named Bella Black. Ooh, I'll have to check it out. I love, I love recommendations, so feel free to give those. Going to Azores, Portugal. Ooh, fun. Going to Disney World. You'll be in my neck of the woods. Who picked which areas to go? Um, my husband and I sat down and looked at a map and decided what looked good based on what. So we needed to get out to Steamboat. Steamboat was our ultimate destination because my cousin is getting married. So we knew we were going all the way out to Steamboat, so that we we sat down with a map, and we said, okay, here's Steamboat. And what we usually do is we say, we pick our ultimate destination, and we put it into Google Maps, and we, we look at the most direct route. What's the most direct route? And then we tend to, sometimes we'll go direct route, sometimes we won't. Um, but we'll look at what cities are kind of above and below, and which ways we can go, and from there. Hubby works for a major hotel chain, so summer vacation, no summer vacation, have to wait until he's off peak. Yeah, but I bet you have some really amazing vacations when it's off peak. Since your kids are homeschooled, will they be doing any kind of schoolwork on the road? Yeah, um, not a lot, but yeah, some. They'll have um, 
um, we'll have a computer, a laptop with us for them to do some math throughout the weeks. And um, they always have to be reading every day. We make them read every single day. Because we're mean parents, totally the meanest. Jill, where is the cave? Do they homeschool year round? Yeah, we homeschool year round just for the reason that we travel a lot um, throughout the year. And um, so that way we can, you know, if we took the whole summer off, then when we travel in February, that would make it really hard to keep up with school. But since basically any time we're home, they're doing school, when we do travel, um, we don't have to worry about it. So going to San Antonio, Texas for Fiesta Texas theme park. Then off to Arkansas to visit family and find beautiful swimming holes. That sounds awesome. Hi, Miss Jen Gallus. Do you give your children a set time to read every day? They have to, um, yeah, they have to read for 45 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. I hope your dad's okay, Lisa. We do, we do. What do you guys do? Do you guys, um, do you guys have reading times for your kids? Do you guys do schoolwork in the summer? I always wonder if people who have kids... Um, in school if they do like stuff during the summer at all so keep them going not judging just curious just curious Don York what did Don York say you people that get on her about how she handles the food get a life oh <laughs> thanks we're just ignoring them do you take your own bedding to hotels uh, no I mean the kids usually have like a favorite blanket or something but no the boys do schoolwork in the summer. Hi, Miss Erin. Everyone say hi, Erin. Erin's one of my best friends. She's actually on a road trip right now, too. She is um, visiting family, having a good time. I've been stalking her. I've been stalking her Instagram and her Snapchat because I love seeing people have fun on summer. I just do. Makes me happy. Ham from Marianne. My older boys have been attending science camp. What does your dress look like for the wedding? Um, so it's... It's, it's, I'm trying to think. I think you guys have seen it before. I'm, it's, I'm repeating. I'm not buying anyone. Um, it's the black and white one that's like whoosh, fluffy. Hold on. I'm going to look and see if these are done real quick. Uh, almost done. I'm going to scoot them up to a higher rack to toast them up a little bit more. And then they'll be done. Probably like two more minutes. They are pretty. They are almost beautifully golden brown. Timer 200. Timer. Okay. And then these are just about ready. From an educator, I would have them do research on places you'll be visiting. Yeah, we do some of that. We definitely do. We do. And our stops are very, we do a lot of educational stops. We do a lot of museums. We do a lot of, I mean, we're definitely very constant learners for sure. Hilliard right now for Erin. What are we making? Hi, Miss Julie. How are you? Sam and Chris. Yes, my three do schoolwork during the summer. Awesome. My kids get a summer package that they have to complete. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a thing. Hello, hubby. How are you? Um, if I had kids, I would read to them from the womb. Smart. Smart. He's my bed. Hang out. I'm going to stick these in the oven. those other ones need like one no I think they're done okay we're gonna pull our pepperoni pizza ones out oh yeah they're nicely tanned look at that pretty little tans on those we're gonna set them over here to cool off Sorry, I know you've got that my tush to you. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, cool. We've got our pepperoni pizza stuff. Up north, you have to school until June. Lots of schools, so I'm more home. Oh, that's a long comment. 
I mean, my eight-year-old loves to read. I'm glad your eight-year-old loves to read. I forgot to set the timer on this. So let's do that. Timer. Oh, that is not right. Timer. Thir let's do 13 minutes. Timer. Okay. Um, so then let's go over a couple other of my um, road trip hacks. I don't have a... I, I have a ton of road trip hacks. I don't have a ton off the top of my head that I'm going to share with you, but I've got a couple here. My summer is family time to be with kids. My kids are in college. I think, you know what? To each his own. Like I said, that was not a judgy comment. It was just a question. I was just curious. Hi, Jack, Zach, Zach, James, Santo, how are you? All right, we're going to put this in the fridge. this away road trip hacks so go ahead and tell me guys do you have any good road trip hacks I'll tell you a few from our car we always have a bin of snacks that are pre-portioned handy and close to uh, mom and dad that we can pass back to the kids at any time we keep a potty in the back of our car and it's not a little kid potty it's like a legit camping potty because you just never know uh, what else? I did buy this time, um, sorry to get crass, I know it's a cooking show, but the things that make it able for girls to pee standy up, I'm pretty excited about that. Because let's just talk about squatting on the side of the road is not my favorite. Um, and sometimes when you're in the middle of nowhere, it's just something that has to happen. So, what else? Always keep a roll of paper towels in your car, that's a big one. Tina's in Cleveland. Um, what else? Trying to think of car stuff. My kids do all have um, Kindles. We do not give them to them right away, though. Usually, we don't even give them to them until the second full day of driving. Um, and then we limit, like, how much. They don't get to use it the whole day. They'll get to use it an hour here and there. Um, what else? What else? Sorry, just putting the meat in the fridge so it doesn't go bad. Another thing is uh, we always... Speaking of snacks, so I got M&M's, little mini snack bags. It is not Halloween time, so I couldn't find the pre-portioned ones, which is fine. Those always cost more anyway, so I figured we could do this live. Let's find our scoopy scoop. We Amy plays car bingo. I love that. Um, <laughs> I'll let you know yes enough. What are the ages of my children? My kids are um, 10, 9, 7, 5, and 3. So um, the other thing is I give them, so I give them a, a special backpack every time. And they don't get it until usually halfway through the first day. So after lunch. And it's full of just little things. Usually each of them get a new book, a new drawing pad. Um, I'll put a pack of colored pencils. The colored pencils aren't usually new. What I'll do is I'll go through their colored pencils and pull one of each color out, make sure they're all sharpened. Um, usually like a little toy, you know, maybe an action figure or, um, a doll for my daughter. And then usually some goofy stuff. You know, I usually find, look for, all right, it says that's the serving size. I feel like that's a lot for a kid. So we're going to go ahead and do, yes, phone charger and car chargers are important. Um, we're going to do a smaller of a scoop. These are bribery bags. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, like my boys really, really love Calvin and Hobbes comics. So we each got them a new comic. Um, yeah, we don't do crayons for that very reason, Valencia. Crayons melt on the seat. They are dangerous. So we always do colored pencils. Um, download a road trip app. Yes, we do those too. Mm -hmm. We have those. And I really like TripAdvisor, honestly. We, we have, um, I know that's not a plug for them or anything, but we've always had really good luck finding stuff on TripAdvisor. And they've got really thorough, um reviews yeah duct tape always have duct tape always have epoxy <laughs> always have um windex what else plastic bags i mean even just like old grocery bags are a big are a big deal so um you know if you need to throw something horrific away or you can put your kid's mouth put it on your kid's mouth oh duct tape <laughs> duct tape my kid's mouth so it'll be quiet what do you do for the three-year-old the three-year-old, he's got books. I mean, they like, you know, colorful books. Um, he's got his Kindle with some movies downloaded on it. He's got some action figures, um, that kind of stuff. I usually do something silly like, um, you know, silly mustaches that they can play with. And 
Um, we try to play games in the car. You know, we have Mad Libs that we'll all play together. We um, Air Freshener, that's a good one, Don. I like that. Um, we do, I have a subscription to Audible, although you could also just go to the library and, and borrow the CDs, but we usually um, will listen to a book on tape. So actually the last few road trips, we've been working our way through the Harry Potter books. Um, so yeah, those are things we do. Oh, also on the back of each seat, so my, my younger ones are still turned backwards, but um, did you say we drive six hours every weekend? Oh my gosh, wow. Um, so on, but my older kids are, are face forward. So on the back of the seats, I hang, I hang a small like canvas bag um, for them to put stuff that they want to reach easily. Because you know, a lot of times they'll drop their backpacks on the floor or stuff or roll. So they always have um, somewhere to put just a couple things they want. Um, yeah, magnetic checkers and chests, those are good. Oh, oh. Sorry, my brother's calling me. Um, so yeah, do they all but the three-year-old read? My five-year-old is just starting to read, so I mean, she, she's she's not going to read a book. She'll look at a book, but um, yeah. So the older three read, but my, my nine-year-old actually gets car sick if he reads in the car. So what I do, too, is um, I'll, do I'll download a book. On tape to their Kindle. So we'll have times. Wes, I think that's your phone out here. We'll have times where um, we're saying it's reading time, and even though JJ can't read, we'll have to listen to a book. Hey, Wes. You might be in the shower. Flashlight, yep, we always buy we always buy several flashlights and I actually stash them all around the car. I gotta take this, you guys. Hey, is everything okay? I'm in the middle of a live show. <laughs> it's okay, I love you. Yeah. Saturday morning. Love you. He was apparently gonna just keep calling, so we had to do that. <laughs> No, Wes said he wasn't going to bed. He must he must be in the shower or something. My coworker's ringtone. I'm pretty sure that's just the standard ringtone on an iPhone. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, books on tape are a good one. Books on tape are a good one. So, um, JJ always has books on tape because he can't read in the car. And then what else? I'm trying to think what else. We got um, lap desks. All the kids have lap desks. So they're able to um, read and draw, or draw and play with, on their laps. When are we leaving? We're leaving Saturday morning. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. And then I have a lap desk, obviously, for the front seat for Wes and me so that we can work because we have our laptops and we'll just do a hot spot in the car so we can actually work while we're driving. My mom does that. She'll call. Yeah, she's he's just calling rotating phones. That's all right. That's all right. He just loves me. Anyway, so do you guys have any more hacks? I love to hear them. I feel like it's always helpful. So I told you my wine trick. Um, you will need to get all packed up in one day. Good luck with that. Oh, we can do it. We do have some stuff packed. Wes, um, Wes already packed the boys up, the older boys. And then um, I bought the snacks and all that stuff. We pack our snacks in big laundry bags and just stick them in the back of the car. Uh-oh, someone's gonna get shafted on this one. It's not quite the same amount. You wanna bet they notice? Who wants to bet they notice? Um, I always search diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yes, that's a great idea. Magnetic pin board, I love that. Watching your program in the Philippines. Hi, hi from the Philippines, I hope you're good. T uh, bring your own music. Yes, my kids have their uh, music on their Kindles that they love. Um, so our, we've got three more minutes about on those. I'm going to show you a couple other, just a, two other things. So I always buy the mini breakfast things. Ooh, it's upside down. Always buy the mini breakfast things because band-aids, yes, I have an insane amount. I actually have two first aid kits in the car with, um, each first aid kit has, uh, tweezers, like good tweezers, not the first aid quit kit tweezers that are garbage. Um, tweezers. Um, gloves, um, lots and lots of band-aids, butterfly stitches, 
uh, Neosporin, Motrin, um, I think what else? Lots of stuff. It's full of lots of stuff. Um, headphones. Yeah, we got headphones. Anyway, so we just buy the cereal pouches because we've tried before in the past to bring a big thing of cereal and on two separate trips, it got like stepped on or bumped and exploded and made a giant mess that were all over the car. So now we do the individual packs. And it's actually really nice because it's special. The kids get to choose something. It's a little sugarier than we usually allow, but it's it's a it's a fun treat and it's easier. Hydrogen peroxide, yeah, that's a good one. Um, and then these, I know it's decaf. Don't make fun of me, but I can't do caffeine. So, um, but they make them in regular, and actually even Starbucks has a version. Um, but these are really actually very good, and they're individual self serve. Um, so you just get hot water, um, which you can make in any microwave or, um, you know, usually most hotel lobbies will give you hot water. And then you pour in your coffee. So I'm never without coffee in the morning. Super important. I don't have any hats because I haven't been brave enough to do a long, long trip. You can do it. What's with the bags? What, these bags? These are, we just portioned out little bags of M&Ms. Uh, why decaf? I'm super, super sensitive to caffeine. It makes me shaky and um, anxious and just really uncomfortable. So, uh, you know, the travel folders is good. Mm -hmm. Never seen cereal pouches, only boxes. Yeah, some of the companies do boxes and some of them do pouches, I guess. Right? Isn't that Folgers? Bring out the Folgers and bring out the... Or is that somebody else? That might be somebody else. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm trying to think what else. Always make sure that you've got... You know, check your, check your data plan before you go away. May have already mentioned, but baby wipes are must. Yes. I don't think we have mentioned it. Baby wipes are... And I actually get the Lysol wipes too. I mean, the baby wipes are good for cleaning up the kids, but inevitably something nasty and sticky that needs a little bit more mm to it um, is gonna come around. So I get the Lysol wipes too. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. See, I can't sing, but I like to. Um, the numbing stuff for canker sores. Oh yeah, we get, the, we get the spray one, yeah, that you can put on your canker sores or down your throat. We got that. Make sure you call the bank. Yes, call the bank so they don't lock your card. Although, I'll tell you, that never stops them from locking up my card. We do it anyway. James wants the Starbucks Mango Pineapple Frappe. Don York says community coffee is the best. Sunglasses are important. I actually keep like three or four pairs up front because they always disappear on trips. Why is that? Marianne says vacation. I tried that, James, and it was really sweet. Yeah, mango is super sweet, so I, I would... Hard candy, yes, we have lollipops. Lollipops are a big one. It's really easy to bribe kids with lollipops. Agreed. Coloring books. We like to do, like, the... Um, oh, they each get a magazine. Make sure the... We have neighbor... Oh, we have um, a house sitter, but also neighbors that check for packages throughout the day because we do get a lot of packages, so... On the go, Coffee Mate liquid creamer. I'm not a, these are just um, bribery bags <laughs> of, of little, the mini M&Ms. So that I have those for um, thermometer, that's a good one. That's a good one. I Spy is a very fun, yeah, we play a lot of I Spy. I don't know where Hottie McTotty is. We do bring wine, and actually that was one of the first things we talked about. So I don't like to bring glass bottles in the car, because one, they break, and two, I am not going to drink a bottle of wine on my own. I mean, I could, but it's not. I'm not going to. Um, so it's nice to have one that you can screw back on, stick in the back of the car, and not worry about it. So I do these little um, wine juice box things, and also I'll bring a box. Because. Because, 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 because. because. Let's go ahead and check on the ham and cheese rolls. See how they're doing. See how they're faring. All right, I'm gonna sweep them up to the top of the rack and put like three more minutes on here and then we'll be good. You guys wanna see our, here are our, these are our pizza rolls. So inside is mozzarella cheese, uh, pepperoni, and um, red sauce. Hashtag wine. Have you tried the alphabet game? Yes, we do the alphabet game. We also do the, um, I don't even know what it's called, the destination game or the places game where you have to, do you guys play this one where you have to, um, oh, yeah, I am wearing leggings, by the way. If you want to join our leggings group, Mama Loves Lula Road on Facebook. What is the max amount of time you plan on driving each day? 
Um, 12 hours is the max we drive. So, and that's including stops. So a 10 hour drive, like time drive time, is the most we'll do. Um, we don't like to do that if we can avoid it, but that's the most we'll do. And that usually ends up being 12 hours total because we'll usually stop twice. So find Waldo. In South Carolina, Atlanta, that will get you an open container ticket. Not if it's in the trunk and closed. If it's not accessible, you're fine. And if it's closed. Uh, where are you going? Airy, Warren, Kit, Clone. We are going. So we're in, so we're starting in Central Florida. We are going Chattanooga, Kansas City, Sioux Falls, Rapid City, Steamboat, Denver, Kansas City again, Nashville, and home. What's inside the ham ones? Ham is Munster cheese and ham. That's all. Laura wants to go. Dirty diaper, garbage bags. Yeah, lots of bags. We have lots of bags in the car. So I'm actually going to throw these in the freezer for two reasons. One, because we'll be eating them for lunch the first day, so they'll have time to thaw when we put them in the car. And two, I don't want my kids to eat them for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> and if I leave them in the fridge, they will. So then let's go ahead and grab a bag for this one. Bags for dirty laundry. Yeah, we actually have special duffel bags that we use for dirty laundry. Um, you're what Casey keeps calling. Yeah, I don't know if that's on um, is that enough food for the whole trip or will we have to pack more? Um, it'll be plenty of snacks for the whole trip, but we'll eat out a few nights, so it won't. Um, wet bags. Yep, I've got a wet bag. Mm -hmm. I do, I do. We'll be gone for three weeks, Cindy. Oh my gosh. So there's our m and snack bags. Do you guys have any questions? You want to talk at all? Sometimes I do laundry when the kids come at the hotel. Yeah, we do have a couple of laundry stops planned, just so we don't have to pack legitimately three weeks of um, clean laundry, because that would just be overwhelming for packing. A nanny, wouldn't that be nice? I don't make that much money. <laughs> There's our um, ham and cheese. Gorgeously, let's turn that off, turn that off. Gorgeously tanned. Ah, aren't those pretty? Okay, let's, uh, here. We'll put this down. Bring these over to the cooling rack. The reason you put them on the cooling rack is so the air circulates and they cool without steaming underneath and that can make them a little, I mean, they'll be fine basically, but um, they can get a little bit soggy if you let them cool just on the sheet. That said, it's no crisis if you let them cool on the sheet. I do the fruit pouches for the little ones. Mine don't do, they don't really like those anymore. They always used to. This is gonna be the first trip actually that we haven't packed fruit pouches. Play the ABC license game. Sounds like a lot of stuff to bring. It is, it's a lot of stuff, it really is. But I prefer to have it with me and not have to buy stuff along the way because then it just eats into the time. And But look, we always end up at Walmart at some point because somebody loses their shoes Somebody leaves something somewhere. Somebody needs, you know, a modium that we forgot. <laughs> Will you take a cooler for the food that needs to stay cold? Yes, James, we'll have a cooler for the, or Jamie, that we need, we'll have a cooler for the stuff that needs to stay, stay cold. So, that's that, guys. I know tonight was a little bit of a shorter episode. Southern California road trip, fun. Sometimes I'll bring a babysitter with us, high school kid. Oh, that's awesome. We've brought um, babysitters with us for like short trips, but never a really long one. And we don't honestly have a lot of room in the car. I know it sounds crazy seeing as how we have a 13 passenger van, but since we take the back seat out and then we use, um, there's only one extra seat after we take the back seat out and we use that for storage. So um, yeah, take both throwaway bags and reusable bags. Yep, we do that too. We do, we do. I love these tips. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you'll stick around. Camille's on later tonight. Camille from uh, My Mommy Style. I'm not sure what she's talking about, but I'm sure it's something interesting and helpful. So um, I won't see you cooking for three weeks, but we will definitely pop on and um, say hi during the road trip. So I want you guys to have a wonderful um, time over these next three weeks. Make sure to pop in 
and just comment on the wall. Say hi. Let us know what you're doing, and um, I always love to see that. So have a wonderful night, guys. If you want um, to sign up for text message alert, so you get it next when we, so you get them when we do come back. You're gonna sign. You're gonna text. You're going to text follow space live show MLF to 40404. Kelly can put that in the um, comments. And make sure to like the page. Check out the website. We've got we've been blogging. We've been writing recipes since 2008. So there are hundreds and hundreds of recipes there. Um, yeah, like the page. Follow the page. Follow us. Oh, oh, guys, if you want to follow the road trip, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat. Mostly Snapchat and Instagram are the important ones. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Um, I am Mommy Named April on both of those. M-O-M-M-Y-N-A-M-E-D-A-P-R-I-L. Mommy Named April on Snapchat and Instagram. And you'll get lots of behind-the-scenes stuff from our road trip. So you guys have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for hanging out. You're awesome, awesome. And I will see you later.